Hey guys, welcome back to the Foreign Herders channel. I'm here at my grandma's house. She's right here with me. Hi. And today we are going to be honoring the Waitress musical and Tootsie the musical because they closed today by doing the Waitress Pie Challenge. So Catherine Steele did this on her channel where she created a pie from Waitress. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. So we're going to make a Tootsie flavored waitress pie. So if that makes any sense to anyone, then good for you guys. So today, here's what we're going to be doing. So I'm filming this a couple days before Christmas, so naturally everything was crazy and sold out at the stores. So there was only literally one can of cherries. So we're making a strawberry cherry pie. So that's a flavor. I also have this edible red glitter that we're going to put on the cake to make it like the Tootsie dress. Pie. On the pie, not the cake. And then we have butter, sugar, cornstarch, extra sugar, and then the pie things. So we don't really know what we're doing because if you've watched our four year anniversary cake making video, you would know that we are excellent bakers and people like Rosanna Pansina should watch out because we're coming for her. So what we're doing is we're going to follow a recipe that I found online and it says that you have to put the cherries and strawberries into this pan and boil it. Or not boil it, but like, what did it say? Warm it up. Warm it up. And then we have to add a little mixture to it. So, do we just pour them in here? Is it good? Carry it. Strawberries not? I don't know. I didn't get into that. Look at these guys. Those look so cool, actually. Okay, so just pour them in here then? Pour a little, then we'll pour a little of this. Nice and jiggly. And mix them together. So they actually mix a little bit better? I don't know. I want to see what they're going to taste like. Oh, just in case it's gross? Yeah. I don't think it'll be bad. Where are your spoons? <gasps> Whoa. I almost just broke the whole shelf. Yeah, it's broken already. That was a little scary. It doesn't stay on the track. I only really taste the strawberry. Okay. What the heck? Okay, whatever. It just has to look good, right guys? No, it should taste good too. Mm. Sugar, sugar, butter, sugar, butter, flour, sugar, butter, flour. So right now we are currently looking for either almond extract or vanilla extract because I did not see that it said that on the recipe. So... It is not going to contain that because we do not have any here. So that's always a nice thing. And we have absolutely nothing. So over here, while the cherries are on the stove and the strawberries, I'm going to be mixing the sugar, our nice clumpy sugar. And don't worry about those brown specks. It is healthy. It's just, I'm not really sure why they're brown, but just don't worry about it. Um, and then also, we have cornstarch right here which I'm going to be mixing into the sugar. And I didn't really understand why you put cornstarch in here, but my mom explained to me that it was to make it like thicker, I think she said, right? So that's interesting. I never would have thought of that. Do you want to run to the store and get vanilla? Um, it was crazy. Literally, I parked. Like, you know how when normal stores, they have doors on both sides of the main entrance? Mm -hmm. And then they have like the row of parking lots at that door, the middle and front, and then the sides, and then they span out. I parked five parking rows away from one of the doors. And I was like 20 parking spots back, so that was a little crazy. Um, plus the lines were so slow because everyone had everything for their Christmas dinner because literally, I mean people do last minute shopping. Um, anyways, so let's just talk a little bit about the musicals, since that's kind of what this is about. 
So I've seen Waitress twice. I saw it once at like a local off-Broadway theater. And then I saw it on Broadway, obviously. And my mom has actually seen it twice as well because she went both times with me. And I obviously only saw Tootsie once. And... Yeah. <laughs> um... I'm very sad that I couldn't go see both of them on closing night. Mostly Tootsie, because I've already seen Waitress like a hundred trillion times. Only twice, but you know what I'm saying. But, um, I really wanted to go see them, and I almost was gonna, but it just, there was no way to make it happen. What? My grandma went Yeah, my grandma wouldn't go with me, so in the comments, right, Grandma Jay, it's your fault, Payne couldn't go see it. So right now we are starting with the pie crust. So obviously for like the bottom part, it's just gonna be normal put on there. But then for the top, we're gonna do some fancy lattice work to make it kind of look like the waitress pie. But we're gonna make it extra fancy with lots of extra curves and other things. Um, so right now she's just going to be taking this. Do we have to butter the dish or anything? No. So she's just gonna place it in here. It needs to have um, some attention to it, but for right now, we're just going to let it get room temp. Okay, fair. And then, for this next piece, she's going to open it up, and then I will be doing... I'm going to be carving it, but Grandma can put it together, because I don't want to do that part. Maybe I will, actually. I think that's going to be fun. Well, it's time to film. Um... Um, okay, let's be creative here, guys. I want everyone to comment their favorite part of Waitress. And I want you to comment your favorite part of Tootsie. Also, comment down below if you've seen any of these shows. Also, if you want to watch, I do have some vlogs. If you go back just a little bit from when I went to see them, if you want to go check those out, that would be kind of cool of you guys. Um, at the very end of this, I will be kind of putting some clips in. Uh, oh, you're not going to do lattice? I am. Oh, I got you. Um, let me think of how I want to do it, though. Or Okay, if you wanna... we'll catch you back in a second. So right now, I'm going to be trying to do some lattice work on this. So we'll see how that works. I'm kind of nervous on just how to start. Let's do this. Opening up, letting the day over a cup. We are, we're headed to Broadway. Aprons are on, it's Okie and Dawn. Get ready, cause we're opening up. Also guys, happy 2020. This is going to be the first video to start off the new year. So that's really exciting. Um, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Are you excited for any of the new Broadway shows coming in 2020? Like Mrs. Doubtfire? I'm not really sure too much about it because they haven't really released like a soundtrack or anything for it, I don't think. Um, also guys, Beetlejuice will be closing this year, so comment your opinions on that. And it's going to be replaced with The Music Man, which I think is a weird replacement for that sort of a musical. Um, are you guys excited for that? Is that a musical you guys like, or would you rather have Beetlejuice stay? Also, just a heads up, we will be doing a Beetlejuice farewell video. So, make sure you tune back when Beetlejuice is closing. Um, so right now I'm just finishing up cutting for the lattice work because we're trying to make this super, like, extra because both of these shows on Broadway are obviously very extra shows, especially Tootsie. But it's running off of the pan right now, so that's kind of being obnoxious. 
and I'm just making the last cut down and that looks done so let me just let my hands up and I'll show you okay so I kind of did zigzag cuts just to give it some extra cool edges once it bakes and then like I did say we do have this edible glitter that I'm going to sprinkle on to make it look like um, Dorothy Michaels is dressed from Tootsie. Here's the cherries and strawberries on the stove. And the oven is preheating right now. So that's very exciting stuff. So right now here we've kind of started the lattice work. It doesn't look as good as I wanted it to, but it, it is what it is. And in here we're mixing the berry mixture so that we can add the sugar and um, cornstarch to it. So there's that. I'm going to place this here. And then this is the mixture, if I can grab the bowl. So I'm just going to pour that into there. We're just going to go for the whole pile at once. And now I will be mixing this together. Oh, it's kind of hard to do it on camera, so I'm actually just going to have to pause you guys. Sorry. So here's the mixture. It looks really perfectly colored. And all those little shiny parts make it perfect for because I'm trying to make it look like um, Dorothy Michaels' dress. Grandma finished like pressing the thing over here, so all we have to do is kind of like poke little holes in the bottom like this, just so that like the air pockets can get through. Do it with a fork. And then um, she's gonna rub a little bit of butter on it, just to give it a little bit of like that golden thing or whatever. We're just gonna do a bunch of them just to be extra. Most people use a fork. Just to let you, know. you can use a fork, but we like to we like to be dangerous and use a knife. So I'm going to finish the lattice work, and then we're going to start the pie. So we have the butter in there. This is finished. And also, I know you're supposed to just do it right on top of the pie. I'm aware, but we're doing it our way because that's how I wanted to do it. So if you would have done it differently, then you do it yourself. So, mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to hand the camera over to Grandma so I can pour the filling into the pie. I'm going to put it over there. Yeah, let's move it closer because, you know. So this, we're not going to end up using all of it because we made more filling than we were supposed to. So we're just going to start with that for now. Spread it out, see what it looks like. Maybe add just a little more. Does it rise when it bakes or what's it do? Yeah, because it'll be bubbling and everything. I think I would leave it like that. That would be good? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to spread it out, make it all fine. Okay, now for the fun part. We are going to pick up the lattice work. Okay. Um, we're just going to lay it right here just so you can watch us try and do this. I know, you don't have... I think we can pick it up. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Well, you've never made one before, so obviously... Don't you just have like a big old slab of cardboard we can slide underneath of it? I do over there by my chair. That pile. On the very bottom. Can we use it? Yeah. Another idea that came to me was just to get plastic wrap, put plastic wrap over it, and then try to pick it up. <sighs> See, it'd be easy if it was easy. But it's not. That's why I told you not to do it. You have to do it as you're building it. Do you have a spatula at least? There's one kind of spatula right now. Well, it's the only one I have. Okay, watch out. Oh, you heebies. But anyway, you get the point. You screwed the pooch. Epic fail, I hate to say. I'm happy to say I told you so. But it makes me so happy. I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. What are we going to do? We're going to have to take it apart. Okay, so start with the mini piece. 
I like to start in the middle and then work my way out. After I did this whole thing. Well, you should listen to me to begin with. Well, you made it difficult. Oh, I just a little ripped that one piece open. Aren't you going to have to keep picking those up and putting them over top of each other, though? Yeah. That's the bread piece. Let's get you guys at an angle where you can see. I'll get, just give me one second to adjust. Let's move the butter out of the way so that you can see what we're doing. Okay. Give me smaller pieces now. Not that small, but... Oh, you guys. This was going to be so good. Oops. I hate the feeling of pie crust. So let's just give a quick more update. So that's what she did so far. Looks pretty good. Big piece. I don't know how I'm going to pick this one up after. How about twist it to the other side and pick it up from the other side? Two. I love the red color in that, I just have to say. I love the red. Mm. Oh, don't get the cherry on the top part, though. No. Yes. You heapies, this is one here. This one needs to go up to. Well, just hang on to it. Okay. I don't know how they bake a pie on every show like this, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> pie jokes. Easy as pie. Is that a thing? Isn't that a phrase? Yeah, easy as pie. Easy as pie. Well, technically, if you're as good as the foreign hard house, everything is easy as pie. Okay. Oh, heaps. Okay, we're going to just get you away for a minute, and then we're going to come back. So, this is what it looks like. There's some kind of smudges of red, but it's fine. It is what it is. So we're going to clean up the edges, and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of the glitter on it now, and then a little bit after, and then we'll be back. So here's what it looks like before we put it in the oven. I do just have some of this little bit of sugar that I am going to sprinkle over top to add sugar to it, and just to give it a little fancy top layer. And then I am going to go over and add some of the glitter to it, which I'm so excited for. So I can't wait for that. We're just going to finish this sugar up on here. And now we're going to do some of this glitter. I'm not sure what this glitter really is, because obviously I've never used it before. But first off, the packaging is ripped off, and I did not do that. So let's hope it's fine. Um, what, do, what should I do here? What should I do? Do you, do I hold it? Can you hold that for a second? Ooh. I'll flip this down so you can see what you're recording. Oh, I'm really scared that I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh! Can I give you a hint? Hmm. Use my fingers? No, just get, hold it. Take your finger over and... Oh, I like that a lot better. This looks really cool. When you're done, give me a nice smile. Hmm? 
When you're done giving me a nice smile. <laughs> okay. And I am going to save some of it for after so that we can just get a little bit on after. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that so cool, you guys? Awesome. I put my dreams in the oven and baked me into a star. Time to show them the best of me and sing from the heart. Oh my god, I can't wait. It's gonna be baking for 50 minutes total, and then we're gonna look at it. We will not be cutting it or eating it today because we are gonna save it for Christmas, which is in two days, but obviously once this video is posted, it'll be like a week ago. So anyways, let's get back when that is done. So time is ready for the pie to be done. I did look at it though a second ago. I think it can still get a little bit more like crispy on the edges. But I think that looks really cool. I obviously have more of the glitter over here to add to it because I want it to be like glitter intensity. But Grandma's coming to check to see if the pie needs longer or what. And then we'll see. Also, Grandma, we were supposed to let the berries cool before we put it into the pie. <laughs> I just remembered that. Uh, baking is weird because it's so specific. Yeah, it looks done. You think it looks done? Mm-hmm. Look at that, you guys! We did that! Okay. Do you want me to grab it out or do you want to do it? I have that. Are you going to place it down? I'm just going to put it on top of the stool. And then... Oh my god, that looks so cool. And it never overflowed. I mean, I want to put more glitter on it, but do you think it needs more? No. I think it's good how it is, don't you? Yeah, no more. Okay, guys, the part that I'm most excited for, we're going to name the pie. So in Waitress, it's a, not a tradition, but it's a thing that she does where instead of just saying, like, chocolate pie, she, like, makes a whole name about it. So the name of this pie is going to be the I cry myself to sleep every single night because I can't go see Tootsie and Waitress on closing night strawberry cherry pie. That's the name of the pie. Because yes, I am so upset that I can't go see it. So that's why I cry myself to sleep every single night because I can't go see them on closing night. Mostly Tootsie, not Waitress, but both of them. Look at that, you guys. That glitter looks so cool. Hmm, I don't want this video to be over, you guys. That was so kind of fun, actually. Anyways, thank you for watching. We wish Tootsie and Waitress a happy close. And we will catch you in another video. Bye-bye. Oh,